Come here. There you go. Now you can sit down. I have to let her know that she's okay. very terrifying. It's okay. I just had to do that with my husband's police dog. Okay. I had to make sure he knew he was scary yeah. than the boss, but he did really well. All right. Okay. 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 Bye. Yesterday was the first day of fall, I believe. The temperatures have been getting cooler and Courtney is a lot more festive than I am. She has all her decorations out for Halloween. That's around the corner and uh, it's cool. I am blind as a bat without any contacts or any glasses. These glasses I've had since since high school and I haven't really found a need <laughs> to purchase a new pair even though it's probably long overdue. Every day, never a dull moment. The Jeep Wrangler Jungle Gym in full effect. So yesterday, I talked about having an appointment with a mobile pet vet today, and they're here. Dr. Herman's veterinary clinic is here, so getting ready to say what's up to him. I think he went to the front door. Hello. Mobile unit. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Good, how are you? Good. Did he go inside? Did with me today. Oh, hey, yeah. Hi. Hi. Alright, so that's Sebastian with me. Hi, Mr. Man. Alright, they're seeing Sebastian first. Yeah, I know. Poke your your boo boo. Poke your boo boo, and then two little shots. We'll run, run your hair test. test. Yeah, and it's especially with this skin. It's nice and it's light nice and, and tan. It's nice and happy. Yeah. It's not red or purple. If you notice that there's hair loss or anything like that, look at this. It's just fluid. Yep. Yeah. So what that is the fluid filled cyst. That's awesome. There you go. So Sebastian had this lump on his back <laughs> that we've been concerned about, and. What it looks like is a cyst. So yeah, not likely are cysts related to cancer. That's the good news okay. about these. So they're not oh likely, boy. you know, secondary to neoplasms. They're just... I tell you right now, Sebastian definitely handles needles way better than I do. <laughs> you're being a really my, good boy. My, I know I ran out of biscuits, I know, but you're gonna get one. You, you did so today. good. You come anytime. Yep. Okay. It's alright. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this was this was traumatic for this me. Was terrible. I hated it. <laughs> How long did you guys know you were going to do this? Oh goodness. I like your mask by the way. Oh thank you. <laughs> For me, I always thought I'd be doing something with animals from being a little kid. Didn't know what. But yeah. What about you? Um, not until I got to Purdue, actually. Really? Um, yeah, I was going to work public health and work government. 
and then love the opportunities that veterinary medicine has. I mean, you can work in academia, you can work in the government, you can do private practice, and mm -hmm. I'm doing private practice for now because I just love the, the client. I yeah. mean, I love the interactions, I love people. You can tell, Ashley, I, I talk a lot. I do, yeah, no, no, I love it's it. This is something it. that, yeah. This is, yeah, and you get to see That's me, cool. Sebastian. I'm gonna actually change my shirt and because uh, you are just fine. fine. You're fine. We'll get things ready in here. All right. Hello. Hi. 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 They have no idea what they're in for with Lucy. Lucy's. Lucy's actually a sweet dog. She just doesn't handle any kind of pressure, any kind of situation uh, that's new or foreign to her well. So, should be interesting. Let's go, Lucy. Come on. Come on. How's it going? Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Follow me. Come on, Lucy. Good job, honey. Good job. Jesus, I'm scared. That just helps us know if there's any changes to them. Um... Do you want her checked for heartworm today as well? Yes. Perfect. All right. She's not due for her shots this year. She's got okay, sweet. So look, you don't have to go oh, through. Thing. You, don't you don't have, have to go through near what Sebastian does. Heart sounds great. No obvious murmur. Lung sounds are nice and quiet. Now she's breathing very slowly, but that's just fine. Good mm -hmm. job, honey. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's gonna be okay. I know. I you guys know. have any crazy dog stories? Oh goodness. Do you make it count? On a daily basis. <laughs> oh man. That's there you the go, problem. honey. Like I want to know on a scale of one to ten how crazy Lucy is. Oh goodness. Oh, Not even a five. Like a six. Like, you know, five or six. Okay. Oh yeah, no. It's okay. Sorry, Lucy. Hang in there. Oh. She Hang in there. Pooping. It's all right. That's okay. I told you, nervous toots. Yeah. yeah. It happens. It's it's real. It's a real thing. Here you go. Well done. Well done. All right. I do so much that they have an influence in your life. Oh my goodness. You can go first. <laughs> Ashley, you go first. Who okay. You? Well, I read a lot. So I guess a lot of the authors that I read from, a lot of fiction novels, um, even just fictional characters inspire me a lot. And of course, my coworkers inspire me a lot too to be better every day. And I have a great group of friends that really inspires me as well. Nice. Who's one person specifically that stands out? One, one character. One character <laughs> specifically. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's so hard. There's so many. I love putting people on the spot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me think about it. Um, I guess I could say I love Lord of the Rings a lot. It's a great movie and a great book. I like Aragorn a lot as a character. He, I guess that's a character that inspires me. Inspires me. I can awesome. Think of. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mine's probably save the best yeah. for last. Well, well, <laughs> it all depends on different aspects of my life. Um, I mean, uh, I guess home, that's I true. Think you always, I mean, my mom inspires me. Um, nice. What she's done and how she's raised me. I have two young kids at home, and so it's not easy um, being a mom and being a working mom and getting out there. And that was one thing she always did. Um, she loved what she did. She loved her career. Um, she taught for 37 years, um, and it's sixth grader, so no easy feat. Um, but then she always made sure to spend time with us one on one, you know. And as a mom, I always look up. I mean, you love your mama, you do. Um, so she's definitely been a big influencer um, in my career. Um, I met a veterinarian through the Board of Animal Health. That's been a big influence on me. Um, he still loves what he does. He loves his passion, um, but he gets the people outreached. He gets to go out there and do the public health. He gets to do that outreach. And I went to and um, worked with him for a little bit during my veterinary career. And that's awesome. kind of where I, where I am today. Because mm -hmm. um, he said, you need to work private practice. Nice. You need to learn the people. Yeah. If you want to work government and change the world, that's awesome. But you've got to do it from the ground up. And you've got to you know, learn it firsthand. And so that really struck a chord with me um, to get my feet wet, to do general practice before I get in the government to get that kind of street cred. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. A good answer. <laughs> well, you ladies are definitely professional at what you guys do. <laughs> Thank, you so <laughs> Thank you so much for, for today. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you sure. so much. Absolutely. Those ladies were dope. I love people who love people and, and animals, of course, but they are definitely good at what they do. Ashley, it was nice seeing you again. Uh, Renee, pleasure meeting you.